We are here in Gaomi in Shandong province in China and we are here at one of the of the classes uh, training academy for all of Asia. I'm here with Mr. Simon who is a marketing representative of farm agricultural manufacturer class and we are learning on this field trip about machinery production, modernization of agriculture in China but also about uh, the impact that digitalization is having. And so Mr. Simon my first question to you is what are we seeing here in the background and how has uh, the advent of digitalization changed the way class is making machines? Mm. So Ms. Böhmer, thank you very much for this good question and also thank you for this opportunity. We are actually standing here in front of a Jaguar. Um, a Jaguar is a forage harvester, which is one of the main machines of class. It's a high horsepower machine and we are, uh, especially in China, undisputed market leader in, this, in the segment of the high, uh, high uh, uh, high segment uh, machines. Now, these ones are used uh, to, to cut mainly maize, but also, uh, also grasses into small pieces and use it for the production of uh, animal feeds, especially for dairy cows. So, um, maybe you asked me the question, uh, what is the impact of digitalization here? Huh? Yeah, because now what we are seeing is actually machinery, mechanization, yes. but we are moving from mechanization to a digital age, supposedly, right? So, how Abs is that playing a role in the, you know, this massive yeah. feat of technological engineering? Yeah, thank you. This is uh, is a very important question. You have to first of all, we have to understand what is what is this machine doing. This machine is, as we said, is is harvesting uh, crops and cutting it into small pieces and directly throwing it out of this auger into a, a truck, which follows at all times. So this one does not have a tank. It has to directly have to be caught. Otherwise, you lose it and it will be on the field. Now, the most important point of this one is in the front because this is the house of the driver. Huh? So maybe if you want, we can have a look and I show you something, yeah. how it looks like in the cockpit. Huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you ladies first. Thank you. <laughs> So now you're actually in the cockpit of, of this machine. You can see, maybe you have this, this whole view. You, you can imagine this thing is now currently folded. It will be unfolded and will be much bigger. And now you have to operate this. You have to drive in the field, make sure you, you're um, following the crop line. You have to make sure that you're at the same time shooting the material into, into the tank of the, of the truck next to you. Then you have to make sure that you're cutting in the right length. You have to make sure that when is the end of the field, when do you, when do you turn? Then you have to communicate with the driver of the tractor. Huh? Yeah. And this is, this is uh, the world of the operator. And you have to, to do this for eight to 10 hours because the, the harvesting uh, window of this maize is very, very short. Hmm. If you wait too long, it's getting too dry. Cows don't eat it anymore. Yeah. So this is the big challenge. Now what we do here, um, you can see on the right side, if you put your hands mm -hmm. on this holster, you, you have here your cockpit. Huh? Yeah. So you have, you have a screen currently not turned on. You have uh, other control mechanisms, which we can see here. You will set the machine here. And then the question is, do you want to drive the whole time with the steering wheel the whole day? No. Maybe not, right? Maybe not. Exactly. So this is one of the errors which we which we optimize together with um, uh, GPS uh, steering to make sure we we're, we're driving in the right lane. So you can also have a look outside the window, for example, uh, that you can see what is going on next to you. Um, that you can communicate. Uh, you have here a mobile phone holder that you can communicate with the driver of the of the trucks. Yeah. So um, uh, this is this is the basics. Let's mm -hmm. say, huh? Okay. Um, if you if you look now. Um, what is, what is really uh, innovative is that in the advanced systems, you with your machine, when the tractor is coming close, if it's a class tractor, you take over the control of the tractor. Hmm. And the tractor will uh, adjust the speed automatically to your speed so that you do not touch because it's, it's on the field. If you touch, uh, you will uh, damage yourself, uh, your machine or the, the tractor. Huh? So this is kind of an example of, of extremely smart uh, things. Another one um, is if you if you think the auger here, this is the auger called behind us. Yeah. 
um, this this arm has to be adjusted as well so that you you fill uh, your truck evenly yeah. this is also done automatically and we have cameras here and you can actually see this from here so you don't have to always mm -hmm. turn your neck hmm? because you're doing this all the time and that's what the 400 sensors that were mentioned before are all about so there are some four hundreds of sensors yes in right machine that the smart information uh, correct so at, the, at the same time we also have settings in the machine we we said before the 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 uh, the soil is not even yeah. we have crops which are taller which are lower you have to adjust your speed this mm -hmm. is all checked with sensors and the machine will then adjust the speed for you automatically mm -hmm. so you can concentrate on on uh, on the, mm. the on the overall supervision of the machine and since when is this so prominent the use of data it seems like the problems you're mentioning have existed forever yes, how right. is that handled in the past yeah in and the past when are we <laughs> seeing this uh, automatic in the past the operator had to do this by themselves okay huh? so mm -hmm. so there this is the uh, the challenge this is not just driving a little bit around mm -hmm. so the, the operators it required extremely smart uh, or sophisticated operators and um over the, I think from from '85 on, mm -hmm. uh, it started to to develop more and more in this direction, huh? and 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 sensors came. Also, the prices of sensors went down. These new technologies were available. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if you look at the at the if you look at the combine harvester, for example, which we can see uh, on the on the other side, is the often you you harvest in a in a fleet. Yeah. So you're not alone. Right. So you have machines right and left to you. What you can do now with the new digital technologies is you can find out who is, has the best setting, uh, the best performance of the machine, and you can transfer the setting of, of this machine to the other machines. Okay, so everyone so aligns yes. along the same. They can coordinate yes. while they are working on the field. Right? Absolutely, they can coordinate, but especially they can also, if I'm, for example, a beginner driver, and you're a very advanced driver, and we find out your settings are better, you can trans uh, we can transfer your mm -hmm. settings to my machine. And uh, even though I'm not so experienced, I can still have a much better performance. Now, one interesting question about this, who the machine gathers all kinds of settings information while mm. we are harvesting or doing stuff mm. on the field. Uh, who owns this data? Is that in the machine and then the farmer can share this between other class machines or can you transfer it into your farm system or into other uh, digital systems that you're using on your farm? Yes. What are the interfaces? So the interfaces yeah. are depending on, 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 on the system that you, how far you want to go. The first thing is you have it in the machine. You can get some feedback with, between you and the machine interaction directly. Second part is you share it. Mm -hmm. For example, if you open the ports, you can share it with, with a class, uh, for example, for service. Mm -hmm. uh, then, then we can see, oh, you're, you're, something will be broken very soon. We can already prepare the part. Okay. Or we can find out much faster what is the problem mm -hmm. to reduce your downtime. Huh? The third, the third one is you're, you're connecting machines among each other, mm. uh, as we said before, that they can communicate together. And the, and the fourth one is you're integrated with your complete farm management system, okay. uh, so that you know, okay, now I harvested this, how much, for example, um, the machine can also help you to, to uh, store data uh, um, uh, linked to uh, geodata to know what is, for example, the performance or the crop uh, yield. Mm -hmm. of a yeah. given place. So next year maybe I should uh, uh, put a little bit more fertilizer or I have to uh, uh, okay. take better care of the okay. plant. And so, so it yeah. also allows you to optimize yeah. all yes. your resource Correct. inputs. From yeah. the okay, very good. Yeah. Machines now do a lot of work that used to be, had to be done by the harvesters, by the farm people themselves. Yes. But now do we require a new set of, of knowledge? Now all of a sudden the farmers need to know a lot about digital interfaces. Do they become do they have to become more IT savvy? Who can mm. actually do this job now? Do you I find think you farmers who can <laughs> do the job? Or? Yes, yes, absolutely. I think you're, you're answering the question by yourself. I mean, this kind of uh, this kind of functionality, first of all, many of them are quite intuitive. This is mm. key. Uh, like on your mobile phone, you don't need to read the manual all the time. You, it is intuitive. This is key for the users. However, there are new, uh, new skills uh, coming to the set of, of such an operator. And this is absolutely right. This is also why we have such an academy here, to train our people, to train our dealers, to also train our operators, huh? to get the maximum out of the machine. Because if they do not switch on this uh, item, it just is off, then they, they don't benefit of this technology that they have actually bought, huh? or that their bosses have bought. And um, do we see that? Yes, uh, we basically, I think a lot of, uh, as we are on our side, investing a lot into training. 
um, and, and our customers do so as well. This is key. So you're seeing this kind of digitalized workforce emerge here in China yes, as well? Yes, uh, very much. And I think the interesting part is because of that, uh, if you think then further integration, um, the um, we, we, uh, the, the farm uh, work will become more uh, IT driven, like you said, huh? or it has new perspectives. And that offers actually quite interesting perspectives also for, for high talent, which are currently not so interested to go into agriculture. We, we see the fluctuation into other industries and, uh, and now um, high talents are actually required to run uh, these, these kind of farms. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Brimmer, thank you so much. Thank you.